Hey everyone, it's Greg Flyshaker, Greg Fly to my friends, and today I'm making a quick video on what some people call no need bread or overnight bread. The idea being that you keep it simple, add a few ingredients and let time do most of the work for you. So real quickly, I'm adding three cups of flour. You'll notice I use two different flours. I, I like to add a cup of einkorn flour and two cups of all-purpose conventional flour and added a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of yeast, and then I'm just adding almost a, a one and a half cups of water. Uh, maybe a little bit less would have been better. This one's a little bit wet, but uh, it'll work. I think most recipes say maybe a one and a third cups. Um, if you use different kinds of flour, you'll need different amounts of water. So don't add it all at once, but you want a really shaggy dough and it should be pretty wet. So this is the next day. So the, I started the bread, the dough, in the evening, one night, this is midday the next day, so like 18 hours later, and you can see how wet it is. Before I started playing with this, so I put a, a cast iron Dutch oven in the oven, and I'm heating it up to 450 degrees. And right now, I'm just taking this wet dough and folding it over on itself a few times, kind of develop the skin on it, and I'm putting it in a microwave with warm water to keep the dough moist so it doesn't get that skin on it. I guess you could put a paper over it or a cloth over it and try to keep it moist that way. But I like to put it in a microwave oven with warm water and help it rise. So again, try to form a skin on it a little bit. Uh, flour your hands before you do this part because it's still really sticky and put it on parchment paper and you'll let it rise again for maybe a half hour. Uh, so your Dutch oven is screaming hot. Don't touch it with your hands. You bring the bread out, you plop it in the Dutch oven, put the lid on in there. So maybe a half hour later I come back and it's done all the rising it's going to do. I take the top off and I'll put it back in for another 20-30 minutes until it looks about like that. Now remember this has some einkorn flour in it so it won't be quite as open and light as a conventional flour. But there you go. Overnight bread, no need bread.